Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about how to set up a recording studio, a basic one, so like we talk in my audio space magazine. So what you're going to need is a computer first, something to hold your DAW, so this can be Cubase, Logic, Reason, um, Pro Tools, whatever you, you want to use. And you are going to need an interface because the sound card who came to, with your computer is not powerful enough to give you a really high quality audio. So most people go for something like this because it's really cheap. So basically this is like the Mbox um, 2, so coming from Pro Tools. And at the back you can see that you have two inputs, so they come as a TRS or XLR. So this can go, you know, you can use your uh, microphone your guitar or keyboard whatever you have as an instrument you can put it through here straight away and you can record directly to your computer it's really beautiful so basically that's what you have here if you look properly we have two monitors there so those are like active monitors and they power up properly and they're really really good to help you with a really good sound because speaker coming with your computer is not powerful enough to translate a really high quality sort of audio when you're playing back so you need something like this to help you connect your speakers to the computer so that's where it goes so you have your monitor out left and right so they're all there you put the uh, the cable through here and you pretty much set up you don't really need this you know like MIDI in it's only when you actually want to be transferring like a MIDI direct with this device here you have the USB so that's the USB input who help you to connect your sound card to your computer to be able to record a song or whatever you want to record front you will see that you have um, the headphone input so it help you to control it here you have the monitor so this give you the overall volume of your sound so you can manipulate this during recording and you need to make sure that you have the 48 volt in because when you're using a condenser microphone you have to power up with something like a 48 volt because you need that phantom power to actually run properly and after that what do we have we have the input so that's input one and input two and you can manipulate the volume here like how much volume you want inside you know like however you recording but you just make sure that you don't turn it up all the way so you get distortion in your sound so basically that's what you need so this is really good deal because you can make a really good track with this you don't need to spend a lot of money on a console like which costs like twenty thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollars this do a really good job and there's many out there you have like a presonus you have m audio there's many out there now you can grab one cheaply and set up your own studio. So basically, that's what you're going to need. And like I said, the monitor, this is the M-Audio one. Came out a while ago. It's really, really good, you know. But there's many out there you can get. Basically, something affordable. Something you can actually get and set up your own little recording studio. So basically, that's it. And another thing I can, you know, give you is... And I do this a lot, so I always use, for example, my synthesizer or my MIDI keyboard who has like a USB input as a MIDI controller. So what I've done here is I connect this um, MacroCorg ink head, which is like an instrument, sort of um, coming from Korg, to my PC so I can use it to control my software and enter the MIDI data to, into my computer so when I'm actually uh, working on a song or whatever. So basically that's how you can start it up. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Hope you like um, our first issue of uh, my audio magazine and uh, see you next time.